everyone, welcome back to the Dodsification YouTube channel and today we're taking a look at the one-fourth scale NECA action figure of Bilbo Baggins. Uh, now Bilbo Baggins is in the one-fourth scale like I just said, um, so that means um, he, the scale that this figure is is a 20 inch figure, so 20 inches is a massive figure, um, but because Bilbo's a hobbit he's obviously shorter than 20 inches so he's a 12 inch figure which is um, the same size as the previous Aragorn that I reviewed, but um, a fantastic piece. Uh, Nick has done an amazing job at capturing the likeness of Martin Freeman, and the clothing on him is also authentic. I mean, at the bottom of the coat, you can see he's got these nice uh, grey dry brushing going on. Don't know if my camera's picking it up too well, but he's got it. And then he's got this nice black wash also applied to the coat, giving it nice uh, shading texture, which just looks amazing. He's also got these nice rigids in the coat um, to, re to replicate the fabric that was used on his actual costume. Um, for accessories, he does include Sting and Sting Scabbard, uh, which you do have to apply, and it stays on there very nicely once you've got it on there securely. Uh, now Bilbo's clothing is made out of this really soft rubbery, rubbery type of uh, material so it's all movable, I mean it's really soft, you can apply it however you want. Um, even the pants are like that so if you press down on it it's really soft rubber, even his vest so uh, that's really cool. Um, the purpose of doing that is to hide articulation points so he actually does have knee articulation so you can bend his knee. And yeah, it basically hides the articulation cuts, so like the sleeve here, it'll hide that joint. But of course for the sleeve they had to do the standard hard plastic, which is not so bad. Um, so yeah, taking a look at the head sculpt again, as we can see it's a really nice likeness to Martin Freeman. Um, his hair, his hair's a nice dark brown with light brown highlights, which looks absolutely amazing. Um, on his face you can see he's got a bit of stubble. So he's been on his journey for a while, um, that looks absolutely amazing. Um, hidden behind his shirt is his uh, ascot scarf type thing, which is really cool. His shirt as well is really nicely detailed, it's got some brown wash there to make it um, have a more dirty look to it. It's got his nice gold buttons. So obviously uh, this figure is based on the scenes before Golem's Cave when he escapes and you know rips off his buttons on his vest but it's really cool um, now Sting can be sheathed in his scabbard if you want but um it stays in his hand really securely it's not gonna fall out but if you wanted to store it in the scabbard you can do that the scabbard as well has really nice detail just absolutely fantastic um, his feet are really cool looking he's got the hair toes really cool so overall this figure is a really amazing figure and I highly recommend you pick it up if you haven't okay, already. Okay, so for this figure's articulation, his head is on a ball joint so it can go uh, full 360. Um, it can look down and it can look up, which is really cool. His neck is also on a separate joint so he can move his neck as well. Um, he's got this uh, mid torso cut so you can kind of bend the torso a little bit. Uh, his arms go all the way around. They can go out and in, bend at the elbow, and swivel at the wrist. Also go up and down at the wrist. I believe it's on a ball joint just there, so that's really cool. You can get nice sword slashing movement out of that. Um, same goes for his upper arm. It's exactly the same as before. Um, he has got a waist joint. Uh, his legs go up. They kind of go at a side up, so, you know, his legs to do that. Um, like I said before, he's got a knee joint, which is really cool. And uh, he's got up and down movement at his feet and also a slight ankle pivot. So that's really cool. Uh, really awesome. So that's basically the articulation on Bilbo Baggins. So uh, yeah, more or less, that's my review of him. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, like I said, if you haven't already, definitely pick it up. Uh, it should be available at Toys R Us stores and whatnot. Um, I don't know if it's coming out in Australia, I had to get this offline, but um, I hope it does, because I'd love to pick up another one. I mean, the packaging on this was amazing. So yeah, until my next review guys, I'll see you later. Bye.